Greetings, everyone, and welcome to Lost Arc. I'm Catherine of Sky, and we are on our sorceress. Um, we've just arrived in the town of Prideholm, and we kind of need to kind of get our bearings. We need to do a couple of little quests. I'm going to show you how to get a pet, how to start doing rep with people. Oh, my God. That's the cat dancing on the keyboard, by the way. Cat, please refrain. Do not knock my things off. Okay, there we go. Sorry, that was Emma in my <laughs> my lap also doing the special items that you can do with the mount. Let's see, Q is this. Arr, nice. Okay, W. <laughs> that's so cool. Like a buck. Arr, okay, so that's a more aggressive stance. And then R is to dismount, which I don't want to do right now. Um, also, we have a person to talk to here. Hello? Aha. So, Guard Cordo, please deliver these flowers to Becca. She's usually in the plaza. So, okay, sure. Chill, chills know if you say they're from Big C. Please don't let the other guards know. Uh, okay, that sounds good. All right, so we're going to accept this. You can just G through all of these things, by the way. Cat, hello. What do you need? Lovely Here. weather we're having today. I don't like her to be like where she can knock stuff down. Okay, there she passed by, mostly. Um, all right, so... Now, these things, these are vistas, like wherever you see like a telescope or sometimes you'll just see a sparkly spot. Um, that means you can look around and there's like this wonderful sort of a cinematic view of the place. Um, they are also good for doing something called um, map completion or area completion and you get currency for that. Uh, when you complete an area. So look out for those things. There's also a thing down here. I don't know if you can see it, but those are called Makoko seeds. They look like a little seed with like little um, ferny leaves kind of, or little green leaves. Uh, they're hard to spot, but once you spot them, they become more visible. And you can actually see them on the map, how many you've unlocked. Like there's one here. We are actually stood right here. So there's one there, one there, and there. Now, I haven't found them in all the maps. I haven't looked them up because I just kind of want to find them as I go. It's kind of more fun that way. If I'm, like, really grinding hard and trying to figure out where they are for map completion, I'll do that when the time comes. But for now, um, it's Lovely nice. And the cool thing today. is, if you're playing with a friend, you can share these. Like, oh, hey, did you see this one? Go over there and, and click it, you know, and go and find that one. Um, also, one of the things that I think I might not be able to do, there is a quest for that rabbit, but it comes up in once per roster, as in your account level stuff. So I don't think I can actually show that to you. Anyway, we're going to go inside and talk to Naria. She is the innkeeper or tavern keeper. So here we go. The other half of the stone tablet in the cathedral? I didn't even know it was half a tablet to begin with. See, she's a woman also who admires ruffles on a dress. I don't know, but maybe Alayla does. She's more involved in village affairs than I am. Really? You're the tavern keep. You should know this. Why don't you go see her? By the way, you don't seem to have an adventurer's tome. Every adventurer worth their salt has one. Did you lose yours? I'll give you one. You can check it off when traveling. All right, so we have an adventurer's tome, and that's kind of the thingy. That makes us, let me see where we can find this here. It is, uh, er, hello, card catalog, inventory, memory, um, hmm, 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 quest journal, training room, world map, codex, mounts. I, you can seek it that I don't really look at it that often. Is it universal something? Currency storage. No, that's not that. Um, I have completely forgotten where it is. Uh, here, let's talk to her again. Okay, so welcome to Pride Home. So you've come to my tavern and met me. That means you've already seen half of the village. Ha ha. I'd like you to see the rest of the pri of Pride Home. Can I recommend you a few good places? I can recommend a few good places. Interested? Sure. Okay, so we have the quest. Um, let's see. Does it give us roster adventure collectibles? There it is. Adventure's Tome. Okay, so this thing shows you like... A lot of stuff that you've collected, like Plague Spores, Book of the Priest. Like, some of them you have to collect multiple of. You see, I've collected two Plague Spores, uh, three Statue Fragments of 25. And as you, like, complete stuff, like, okay, so here's Vistas. We've seen the Chain War Memorial Tree, a Waterfall Bridge, a Valley of the Falling Waters, Statue of the Goddess. 
And this is just in this continent. These are all continents. And then there's monsters that you have to kill. Like they they appear like little um, little devil horn hats on the map. And if you kill them, then you get a check mark. Um, we also have story parts, hidden story bits, um, triport unlocking, rapport, and that is like um, reputation with certain people. I'm gonna show you how to do that. Um, let's see, and then we have, these are dungeons that you need to do. We need to do Toxiclaw Cavern, Aqualox Head, and Aqualox Tail. I've done those on other characters. So this is like the account progress in these areas, and you start to get stuff. So we've gotten 10 Phoenix Plumes, uh, 30 HP Potions, and a Surprise Chest. Um, so anyway, uh, you can claim them. But you should claim them on the character you want to use them with. Like this thing. Uh, oh, it's an item used to increase rapport with NPCs. That's fine because like you can uh, give it to your other characters if they want to like develop romantic relationships or whatever with stuff. But apparently I'm 36% done with Rithranus after kind of like half a day of playing in this place. Um, but yeah, there's many continents. There's many, many things uh, that you can look at. All right, so let's go ahead. There's a there's a thingy over here. This guy sells stuff, or this person sells stuff. I don't know if it's a guy or a gal. Oh, it's a gal. Okay. Um, Ignea token points rewards. These are very end game, but there's a golden something terpeon. I wonder what that is. But apparently, it's very end game. You have to collect many of these things uh, to get those things. But there's a white scarab mount, Makoko skillet, uh, luminous energy, and other stuff that you can get. So they have special vendors, and those vendors change their items uh, frequently. Hideholm is a city rich with religious history. The lion statue in the village square honors the priests who battled against the demons. City residents set aside time every day to offer prayers of gratitude to those priests. From the outside, Hideholm appears to be a normal village. But it's actually one of the holiest places in the world. Hideholm remains a popular pilgrimage destination. Okay, so we got a very nice, like, thing. By the way, you can skip those cutscenes cut if you want to. Um, but I'm, I'm showing them because I think they're kind of interesting and they're very pretty. So let's go into the next place here. We have another quest from Alayla. The stone tablet in the cathedral? Oh, the slab engraved with something about the Ark, right? Kind of naive to believe a made-up story like that. I'm not sure, but you could ask Rudin at the Adventurers Association. He was there when the stone tablet got moved. Rudin is just as interested in myths and legends as you are. He paces around that tablet for hours at a time. Where is he today? Near the Plaza Fountain, I think. Maybe you should go see him. All right, so she also has stuff. Um, so she sells, let's see, Honorable Lion Shoulder Piece for a thousand gold. Now, when you start, I guess, how much, we actually have 33,000, really? Okay. Oh, but this is equipable level 11. I think I'm not quite there yet. That's why we can't, that's why it's like red. Um, yeah, you start with quite... I don't know. You do the quests and you get plenty of money, basically. Uh, you've seen how what the quest, quest rewards have been, like a thousand gold every single time. There's also a thing where if you contribute to your guild every day, uh, 6,000 silver, not gold, but silver, 6,000 silver, you get... Um, so, got any news? You get uh, a special currency called Blood Shards, and those are also very good. Um, so I have a tiny guild and we're having a great time playing. Okay, so this is Becca. She needed those flowers, remember? Oh, she's admiring herself. Ain't she cute? I like her pants. That's nice. Big C from Cordo. He has sent me flowers two days in a row now. I guess I'll take them, but what am I supposed to do with them? I don't exactly have a green thumb. Well, you're supposed to take them because he's interested these flowers are more of a bother than anything. Maybe I should just dump them into a flower bed. One of the flower beds in the plaza would be the perfect place to do just that. Ha! Huh, the perfect crime. Would you put these flowers into one of the flower beds? 
She seems very self-absorbed, as you can see. Okay, so we just click on one of these places. It has a little, a little light above it. You can press either G or click on it, and it's good. If anyone asks, I told you to put those flowers there. It was my idea all along. Yeah, I'm not going to tell them I thought of it, you know. Roster level up. Hooray! Okay, so that's very nice. Let's go over here. We have some stuff going on here. Here is Rudin here. Oh, you're an adventurer looking for the Ark. Stone tablet? Oh, the stone tablet. I was there when it was moved. I don't remember exactly what happened. Wait, Null was with me there that day. He's an observant one, that Null. Maybe he saw something I didn't. By the way, I see you have an adventurer's tome. However, you haven't really recorded anything yet. Why don't I teach you how to use it? Click the vista next to the cathedral to record it in your adventurer's tome. The memory will last a lifetime. Yes, and it will last a lifetime of my other alts as well. It's at the top of the stairs in the back. We've already done this, Rudin. Don't you know? Don't you know, boy? All right, let's go ahead and get on our horsey. There we go. Our elk. So yeah, they want us to click this again. We've already done this. So we're gonna just gonna... Oh, whoops. Let's do the bar and then we'll skip out of the animation because we already seen this okay you can escape maybe there we go all right click your adventurers tome with n and here it is of course the vista yes okay gotcha gotcha thing we already know let's talk to rudin again i like that you can talk to npcs without dismounting that's Every nice time you fill out the tome the association will reward you good times why, to thank you for providing an essential guide to future generations of adventurers, of course. So if you find any, out any information about the Ark, please record it in your adventurer's tome. You still have business with me? Oh, that's right. You'd like to know where Null is. I'll wager that Null is standing in front of the triport. Go ahead and ask him about the stone tablet. I'll wager that... Oh, yep, yeah, we already read that. Okay, and it keeps you mounted. There is one annoying thing about the mounting, is that when you're near enemies, you cannot click your damaging spells and you stay on your mount you have to dismount in order to kill some i don't get that that's really weird uh all right there's one too many bards in pride home but i can't think of any good music to beat that blustering bard sierra with what i need is some inspiration to see someone involved in an amazing and innovative act of creativity are you the creative type perhaps you can help me can you think of anything i don't know we'll try Okay, so we're supposed to... Th so this is teaching us about emotes here. So we need to do... Show off something amazing and innovative to Bard Lunapon. Press Y to open the emote menu. Okay, and then we do dance. So, yeah, dance emoticon. I am dancing or not. Here, let's dance. Now there's another person dancing, as you see. The outfits are, um, oh, yeah, I, need more images to I am not a fan. I'm not a fan of most of the outfits, I gotta say. Okay, so as soon as the circle disappears, we're kind of done. We can go back to Bard, Lunapon, and see. Okay, I saw something that utterly blew my mind. Yeah, haha. -ha. Okay, great. I'm glad you were excited by my dancing. Woo. All right, so I don't know where these symbols are. Let's see, on the map. Oh, it is actually there. I thought it was a little bit further. So they have these things called triports. They're a teleporting system to go around the world faster. Uh, are you seeking the Ark? You're like Rudin. Kinda. The Ark is just some legend. Nothing but a myth, actually. This triport is believed to be made from the same stuff the gods used to make the Ark. Beautiful, isn't it? Look at that wonderful aura. The perfect lines. Why don't you take a look around? You might uncover something interesting. Oops, talking too much again. Oh, oh shoot. Okay. So with these triports, you have to click them. They don't automatically unlock. Like, um, there was a thing in WoW where you had to click the, uh, the, wait, did they have teleporting in WoW? Or was it Path of Exile? I don't remember. One of them had where you had to click the teleport point or whatever, uh, or flight point. Uh, I think it was a flight point in WoW. Anyway. Um, and then they removed it because it was just logical that you knew how to get there. But here you have to click the teleporter. So remember Did to do you that. Anything special? You think if there was a clue to the arc there, someone would have found it already. You'd think. 
The triport is a mode of transportation that connects different places. Two words, magical teleportation. By pressing M, you can instantly move to a triport in a different place, though it has to be on the same continent. In other words, you can't use a triport to cross the sea. Using a triport costs a small amount of money, so if you don't want to ruin yourself silly, always carry some coin with you. Hey, don't look at me. I don't make the rules. Th that money's not going into my pocket. It goes towards the upkeep of the triports. The triports you'll see in high traffic areas like Prideholm are wonders to behold. I mean, look how shiny it is. This one in particular is... Oh, sorry. Got too excited there for a minute. He's like me, I think. Um, back to the matter at hand. Come to think of it, a bard named Sierra came to the town a while ago. Why don't you ask her about the Ark? She must be down by the plaza. So, uh, yeah. With the that crystalline aura, though, it doesn't cost any money, so it's kind of good. You save a lot of money by doing that, I think. A decent amount, anyway. Maybe not a whole lot, but... Okay. This is Sierra. Hey, Sierra. All these, like, vines growing over Hello, the grass. So wild. How can I help you? You can tell me stuff. Please. Okay, let's talk to her. What can I do for you? The tablet about the Ark? I like her outfit as well. It's gorgeous. I wish I could wear something like that. I wonder if that's in the game. I didn't know such a thing existed. See, I want long skirts. I want puffed sleeves. I, the decollete is okay. It's a little bit low cut for me, but I'll, I'll deal. I love the ruffles on top. I love the skirtiness going on. And sorry if you're interested in more in gameplay than fashion discussion, but I do love my fashion. So anyway, uh, I didn't know such a thing existed, but the song I played is related to the arc, as a matter of fact. It's called The Song of Escape, and it has the ability to help its performer escape from danger. Amazing, right? Most people dismiss the arcs as fairy tales, but we bards keep their legend alive through song. Okay, so we have now learned a song, or we're going to. We have it in our inventory. Now we're going to right-click this to add it to our song list. Okay. And we're going to go to our song list by going to sheet music. And then I'm going to put this on five because that's where I actually, you know what? I think maybe we'll switch those and put this on nine. I never actually click this. Or I never press nine because it's way too far on the keyboard. So I'm just going to click it if we need to. It's basically like teleporting out of a dungeon. So if you're in a dungeon, like in WoW, you have a hearthstone, except this one just gets you to the dungeon outside its entrance. It's not like going to a city or something. All right, what else? Of Log Hill might be able to help. The tablet? Stonemason Arzul manages matters related to the Ark. May the light of the Ark be with you, adventurer. Nice. Okay, so we have leveled up. We have done things. We have got skills. So this tells us we have skill points to spend. Now, we've played a little bit with our skills. We now have five skill points to put into various things. Now, I think that the blaze is really great. I want to get this ignite. So let's put four points into that. And we're going to choose ignite. Now, the next one requires 20 points. So we're not going to choose that one. I think that... Frost's call is incredible, but it does already a lots of damage. So maybe I like to kind of do piano fingers a bit when I do the spells. So maybe this one. Um, so every point you put into it up raises up the damage. So here it's at 191 and now it's 280. Also, you can revert these changes at any time. And uh, when you're done, you just click save and you're good. And you have these many different profiles um and you can buy more obviously you you have two and then you can buy more pardon me i'm like hiccuping don't know why anyway um it's good to have a few leveled up a little bit right because if you try to put all of your points into one skill your cooldowns are such that it isn't going to be very effective so you kind of want to have several damagey spells uh just to keep yourself alive all right, so where are we going next? We have a Znock over here. We have Quest out there. Let's go ahead and see the Znock first. Our prices are better than the other store. But there's lots of places to it to explore in the town. It's beautiful. It's really pretty. This is Gory. If you go to Log Hill around this time of year, there's a good chance you'll see white red beaks. We collect their feathers to make clothes for the priests during the winter. Uh, okay. 
The villagers usually go to Log Hill to collect the feathers, but we haven't been able to lately because of the grave robbers. Do you think you can collect some feathers at Log Hill and give them to Lila at the gear shop? Sure. Okay, why not? We'll do this quest. Um, we don't have to. It's an optional quest. And I'm going to try to not do optional quests, so I'm, though I'm so like used to just clicking all of them because they're very convenient. So we're going out. Let's go. Going out to Log Hill, which is the area around Pride Holm. It's like a foresty area. It's quite nice. There are lots of ancient ruins uh, like this. Those it's very pleasant. Claw robbers have increased in numbers. All right, so we gotta find where we're going. We have our regular quest over here, and then we have the red beaks in this area. So let's just see what this person wants here. If you're talking about the missing piece of the tablet in the cathedral, I don't know where it is either. Why do you need it? Because we want to know. The Ark? I thought the whole thing was made up by bards. I don't know about the stone tablet, but I have something similar. Check out that useless rock over there. It's only good for taking up space. I doubt this can help, but maybe you should talk to Guard Alm. He was there when it happened, so he might know something. Alright, so we're sent to find some stuff. Uh, there's a, somebody in the village, but I want to take care of these quests first. Um, and usually when you pick up side quests, they all are in the same area together. So we want to check this first thing. We've got to click on this thingy. Okay. Long ago, a horde of demons invaded the mortal world. Thus began what is known as the Chain War. A fitting name for an unending eternal war. Okay. We have that. The next site is there. Here, if we see some red beaks, we'll kill them. Uh, well, oh, there they are. Okay, so we are. We have to dismount first again, remember? Oh, no, no, no. That's not what I wanted. Hello? Cute. There we go. Kablamo. Jeez. Okay, cool. So did we get enough? Not yet. Okay, not quite. Not quite enough. That is a looks like a gun lancer over there. Oh. Oh darn it. I didn't get to get a shot off on those. It's okay though. Uh, anything that is killed by multiple people out here, I believe, is shared. So if you see somebody killing like a mini boss, feel free to shoot at it. You know, you're gonna get credit, you're gonna get loot. And uh, it's nice. I like that. I, in WoW, it's very like, okay, who kill, who started to kill it first? And uh, I feel like that's the, it doesn't provide a good quality of game, I think. Okay, good. Uh, how many more? Jeez. We have 71 of 100. Okay, there's some over here. Oh, that was a bad teleport. Did we get it? Not quite. Whoopsies. Oh, bad aiming. Jeez Louise. Okay, so now that the blue circle has completely disappeared, that means we have enough. So let's go. We have ongoing quest one. Let's go ahead and... Um, this is one we can just complete. We don't even have to go back. So we're, that's good. Uh, Alright, so... So there we are. All right, good. So the next place we want to go down is down here. Let's go and check out this item over here. Okay, click clicky. Weirdly, clicking on something dismounts you automatically. So but terrible. trying Even to, I think it's because we have hotkeys for the mounts that do stuff. But I still feel so like if you right click, you should be dismounted. Get a search for the Ark of Legend. Yeah, things were bad apparently. They believe the power of the Ark was the only way of defeating the demons once and for all. Okay, mounting up. Let's go. So the next one is over a yonder ways. Normally, if you're on a mount, you're pretty safe. Like in WoW, you can get easily dismounted, but not in this game. It's pretty safe to ride a mount. You can also teleport from your mount. That's a good tip. Like if you, 
Yeah, okay, I shouldn't talk over this, sorry. These seven heroes are the Sidereals. The races of the mortal realm rallied alongside the Sidereals to defeat the demons and finally put an end to the chain war. Okay. All right, we have one left. Um, but yeah, if you're having trouble, like, always get on your mount if you possibly can. You can use M, map, to go and click a different teleport point. Like here we have in Pride Home, we can click this one and just go there. Uh, right from the mount, you don't have to dismount. So that's very convenient. All right, let's click this one. There you are. Investigating the stone ruins? Long ago, the Sidereals used the great power of the Ark to defeat the demons. Now, that same darkness has come to the mortal world yet again. This is why I have been traveling the world in search of the Ark. Everyone tells me the Ark is just a legend. But that stone tablet is the key to finding it. Their clothing swishes really nicely. I have I'm to glad say. to finally meet someone else who believes the Ark is real. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must continue my search. Please let me know if you find something. All right, so we found out kind of the story of like, I don't, I still don't know what the Ark is, um, but they're using it as a powerful object against the demons and stuff. All right, so let's progress on this continent here. Go over here. By the way, you can choose to not do the side quests. They are not required for XP in order to get to max level. They used to be, but apparently not anymore. Um, but, uh, yeah, I find them kind of interesting. There's kind of interesting, like, story going on. But again, in this series, I just want to, like, don't read so much. Well, there's a lot of reading already. So, yeah. I don't know. But since it was moved out of the oratory, maybe you can find some clues there. Okay. Bye. Oh, whoops. I forgot I was on the horsey already. So now we go over here. Now, oops. Hello? There we go. So here we are. Oops, I forgot. Oh, there we go. There we go. I love these sunflowers, by the way. It's one of my favorite things in the whole place. Okay, sometimes you'll have like little mini quests like this. So, so kill white red beaks. Um, and kill what? Five of them. Okay, so that's already two dead. But apparently, I'm kind of deadly with that fire. Poor red beaks. They don't even have a chance, man. But if you leave the area, it doesn't count, and the, the quest will just go away. So there we go. Um, we got HP potion. We got some heart to hearty things. The hearty things are a, a, ter, a, a token, uh, a, kind of a currency that you can use for other things. By the way, I love the sunflowers. Did I mention that? Yeah. Anyway, um, yeah. Providence stones. Okay, they are tokens that you can use for something that I didn't even see. Dang it, thing. Anyway, um, you can read it when you encounter it in the game. And, uh, yeah. But you, you kind of earn those. I think they're for rep, but I'm not sure. I haven't, uh, done too much with rep other than the initial quest. And I'm hoping we're going to get there in this video. So let's see. We need to go up to this area. This is one of these kind of strange little solo places. Like, if you try to go into a one, most of these places... Um, there will be people, there will not be people, because this is like a solo instance. It's really strange. Yeah, I'm here. Hello? Oops. Apparently it didn't register that I came in here, because the marker is still out there. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and, oh, I have to look around. I see, I see, I see. 
There we go. Follow the clues. La -dee -da -dee -da. Yeah, okay, so here we go. Now we have the proper, like, you go into a scenario kind of thing. And if you're playing with a group, a lot of times they won't come in with you. So it's weird. Uh, I don't know why they do this, It's but it's kind of strange. Um, it's very kind of group unfriendly. And I find it like just weird beyond the words. Oopsies, that's not what I wanted to do. There we go, that's what I wanted to do. Okay, wind ether, that's nice. Slightly increases move speed, that seems good. There we go. Oh, one more, one more. So just auto attack to finish off that last guy there. All right, tar talk to the guard. Okay, he's right here. Guard wreath. Look for the rem oh, Thank you for your help. Please tell Aln what happened. Phew, that was close. There's a shortcut over there. Yeah, the shortcut's kind of cool. I like it. It's another one of these, like, uh, use the landscape things. Kind of neat. There we go. You cannot use it while mounted, so don't even try to mount at the top. That's why I didn't. Okay, uh, here we go. So, return to guard all and, and inform them of the situation, and then we need to go to the other person. Let's just go to the left here. There it is. I didn't see it before. Don't let your guard down. No. Those Don't let all them down. Claw robbers ganged up on the guards. The stone tablet you're looking for must be very valuable. They would have attacked us. They wouldn't have attacked us so recklessly unless they were desperate to hide something. Please go see guard Mizzle. He has been watching them. I saw you wipe the floor with those toxic claws. Oh, skill inferno. Okay. They were no match for you, but since they set up shop in Log Hill, the street has become extremely dangerous. Please get rid of all the toxic claws you see along the street. Okay, we'll kill a couple. So now we need to kill uh, four grave robbers. Oh, and apparently they want me to just kill all these toxic claws. Uh, Alright, so did we get... We probably got a new... Item. Yeah, here we go. Inferno. So it creates a pillar of flame at the cursor location within 14 meters. So this is limited by distance. Let's see. Can, how far can we go? Let's let's click here and press D. Oh, wow. It goes quite fu Holy fuzzy. Flaming things. Jeez Louise. All right. So that looks dangerous. That's a nice range skill that we can just use without having to be too close. We also don't have to position very importantly there. Uh, so yeah, good good job there with that. What are we doing here? Grave robbers. Oh, here they are. Nice. That's three. Oh, here's some more. Let's try the new D. Wonk. Wow. Talk about roasted dudes, man. Deadified. Completely deleted. All right, let's go up here. This is where our next contact point is. There's another triport over there, so we're gonna click that first. Remember to click it, because if you don't, you won't have it. Okay, this is Guard Norton. Did you really clear the streets of all those robbers on your way here? Well, not all of them. The toxic claws pretty much run away in terror. It's a bit embarrassing to admit that the guards weren't able to stop them. Thank you for protecting Log Hill for us. Nice. Okay. Uh, a collectibles for adventurers, yes. We just got a thing. Remember where we, we looked at those statue fragments when we needed 25? We now have one more. So yay. Now then. I was gathering information about the recent movements of the grave robbers. This will take a while. In the meantime, do you mind picking up some supplies from Pride Home Storage for me? Okay, sure. So now that wants us to teleport. So it's teaching us kind of how to like, okay, we're going to leave this quest. I know it's hard, but we're going to do it. We're going to try. Um, let's see. We're going to go to M. Well, first of all, we're going to say, we're going to click this and it shows us where we need to go. So we're going to go to teleport to try, uh, pride home. 
And again, you can teleport from your horse. Not a problem. Do you require assistance? Okay, here we go. So where do we need to go? Okay, so inside the tavern and also outside the tavern. Sorry, flower beds. We apologize. Okay, so we have to talk to Del Ren. I heard the guards there got their hands full. Is that why you came to pick up the supplies? Pretty much. Those grave robbers must be causing more trouble than I thought. Sorry, this box of supplies is all I have for you. Alright, so Del Ren is actually the storage person. Um, if you don't have the pet thing or the crystalline aura, then you uh, will need to come to a, a city and kind of move your stuff around there or store stuff in your own inventory there. Um, so yeah, that's that's a thing. Uh, all right, so that's done. Let's go in here. I like that we can like drive the horse right into the place. Wow, where did you get so many feathers? You must be a bird whisperer. Not really, sorry to break it to you. This is more than enough to keep me nice and cozy. I'd be extra warm this winter because of you. Thanks. Whisperer. I just killed them all. Jeez. Anyway. Um, yeah. By the way, the way you delete stuff is kind of kind of interesting. I kind of have want to have more stuff uh, before I do that. Um, but let's see how far we get. And I'll try to show you the the like selling stuff at the end of the episode all right we have five out of ten now it's wiser to put stuff into another skill than continue on blaze for now so we're gonna kind of put stuff into here let's go to the four level on this let's see casting speed higher on hit damage to foes from all party members so this is like uh, if we, ha I think if we had more people playing with us, um, on hits restores max MP by 2%. Jeez, I don't like any of these. Maybe casting speed? I haven't had any problems with uh, mana, so I don't know what to think about that. All right, we have a lightning vortex. That has actually been kind of good too. I kind of like all of the skills we have. So, see, that's 12 seconds, that's 24, that's 14. Seraphic Hail. I don't remember this one. Uh, but that's 18 seconds, this is 18 seconds. I feel like this one would be nice to kind of start leveling. So let's just put points into that one. Anything oh, what? Cancel, enough? save. We need to save this. So, um, let's see. Use the locate button to see the quest thingy and go to the log hell outpost. There we go. We're going to click this. Remember, if you had not clicked this teleporty thing, then you'd have to run all the way there. So teleporting is really useful. Just make sure you click the pads. I am very guilty of not clicking them. So, um, try to remember that or for yourself, you know, all right, let's go. Um, <laughs> where are we going? Oh, here he is. There we go. Supplies may not be enough. I've just finished studying the grave robbers. According to the information that the guards have gathered, a man named Kugo led the infiltrators of the oratory. He's searching for something around here, and I'm thinking it might be the tablet you're looking for. Have you tried the specialty skill yet? Uh, yes, I have. You're as amazing as I thought. Wow, he's like in love with her. Holy shit. Oh, her holy fuzzy cats. Mm. The specialty skill can help you beat Kugo. All right, we'll keep that in mind. Thank you. So where are we going? We are going to the left, actually. Let's go that way. Toxic claw Let's go, man. Let's see, where are you? Oh, this is, um, hmm. this is a guy that's not here right now. He was just recently killed, I think. There we go. I don't know where he moved. Oh, he's already dead. Wow, I didn't even get to use a better spell on him. Okay, that's fine. Uh, all right. There we go. Go back. All right. According to this note, the ones who are looking for the tablet will have a meeting at their hideout. 
Stonemason Kahan is familiar with this area. Maybe he knows where their hideout is. Go find Kahan. He'll help you if you mention it's for the guards. All right. Sounds like a plan. Okay, that's all the way down there. I think we can teleport maybe here. It's probably faster. So we click on the map and go there. Oh no! Oh, I don't have the teleport point. Bad, sad times. Alright, it's okay. The landscape is beautiful and we're fine with going there. It's kind of interesting. Like, if you take the side quest, they'll kind of lead you around the map. And it's quite, quite handy. And you do get XP. You do get money from it. Um, it's a little bit slower way to level, but I actually don't care about, you know, who makes it to level max first. It's not important. I mean, we have so much time to play these games and, you know, it's, they're basically infinite games. Oh, okay. Cross the bridge and follow the path through the thicket to the north. It can be dangerous, so be prepared. Take this sword. Yes, I know. Okay, so that's a thing. So we're going to where now? I don't know where we're going, actually. Where are we going? Uh, hello? Oh, are we going this way? Oh, we're going here. Sorry. So be prepared. You're not planning on traveling there on foot, are you? It's quite far away, so you'd better ride a horse. Complete. I am taking a horse, thank you. So this is better. I don't tend to use consumables much, but they are they can be kind of good. Uh, let's see. Let's see where this Toxiclaw hideout is. It's down here. So it's best we go and take that or grab that teleport point um, so we can get there in the future. All those beautiful sunflowers, man. I swear they're gorgeous. quite fast even to get around so it's not a big deal. Okay. Fiona planes teleport or triport activated. Okay, so here we are. Let's go here. Toxiclaw robbers hideout. Another uh, scenario for us to deal with. And again, another solo scenario. All right, let's go. We'll see how we do with these enemies. Sometimes the enemies are a bit rough. Like, I've noticed there's a huge difference between a tanky character like a, uh, a paladin versus uh, the bard, for example. I mean, the bard can survive. Like, all of the classes are soloable, but, man, the, the amount of healing potions you use is very different. Uh, so this game has dungeons like WoW does, um, but... It's different. There's a four-person team instead of five, and they don't do the traditional tank healer 3 DPS. They don't even have they don't have a comp really. There's no tank characters really because there. I think there's one character with one taunt, but it's not really up all the time, so it's not really usable that way uh, or the way we think of these things. So you can kind of like play the game with pretty much any kinds of classes you want. And there are many, there's like 25 total classes that we know about. Um, I believe 15 were released uh, during this recent launch for NA and uh, EU. But what's it is, it's R that's the fancy schmancy thingamajingy. There we go. Deadify yourself, dude. Dead. Okay, good. Margo finally did it. He found the ruins in Cole's forest where the tablet is hidden. Uh-huh. So anyway, my oh. people to pull out the tablet. You keep an eye out for the guards from the hideout. Once this is done, that guy will leave us alone. Uh, so anyway, you can play kind of whatever you want. I kind of wanted to play Bard because uh, it uh, has a little bit of healing in it. It's a support class. I do like playing supports in general. Um, okay, there we go. Just quickly, don't move. Just quickly mount your horse and be okay. 
Actually, we don't have to travel to there. We can just click the teleport point and be good. Um, in this game, as you're leveling up, you can do the dungeon solo. And that's kind of what we probably are going to do much of the time. Uh, we might do Leader actually public groups. Ropes. We'll see. But I will do a couple of them, down. and I always do them on a hard anyway because you get better um, gear. Oh, Brother Shudale isn't far from here. He might be helpful. Sorry, I missed some of that dialogue. Um, let's see. G. Okay. Where? Where he be? Oh, he's up this way. Okay, good. Okay, so we go to the next uh, zone. I kind of try to keep an eye out. Oh, there's a vista over here, by the way. I've unlocked it on another character, though. Oh, and here's a Makoko seed right over there. Oh, here, hello. Are you saying the grave robbers are looking for a piece of the tablet in Pride Home Cathedral? They certainly are. Maybe you'll find what you're looking for far uh, from these grave robbers. If you don't, you should meet me. You should meet the shelter keeper, Madoc. The grave robbers are also up to something around the Kolsch ruins. It's so like, hey, you want to meet this guy? You want to meet that guy? You want to meet this guy? They all know stuff. Jeez. All right, so this one, we have to kill two grave robbers. Also, there's a very quick quest here for honey. We're going to talk to this person, Hyde. Even though it's dangerous here, I couldn't help following the smell of honey. These horsey things are awfully ferocious. The beehive is right over there. They talk like me, though, just dripping with honey. If you're not busy, could you bring me some honey? I'll share it with you. Sure. I'll get your honey for you. Oh, whoops. This has been clicked recently, so we'll go to a different one. Also, uh, whoops. There's one over here. Oh, that one's been clicked as well. Darn it. Somebody's been har farming these honey thingies. Honey hives. Okay. Oh, this guy's been farming them, I bet. This is supposed to be quick, man. But I think there's too many people right here. I don't know why, because like I'm playing on a very bad time for EU right now. Well, you know what? We're going to kill some grave robbers, and if they're still here, then we'll see. Anyway, let's just kill these guys. There we go. So that's done. Um, can I click this? Hello? The respawn time tends to be really low. Wait, did I get even the quest? Yep. Next. Oh, I didn't accept the quest. Oh, jeez. No wonder it didn't work. Okay. Yeah, so there we go. Usually you just get this one thing and it's fine. Yeah, it's done. All right, now it's done. I didn't realize it didn't click accept. All right. Okay, quest complete. And we got points. We got things. We got mount. Let's go. Where are we going? So we're going to the up this away. I, yeah, those horsey thingies. <laughs> That's so funny. I do love the way they talk uh, in some of this. Um, Alright, so let's go up here. First of all, click the teleport point. Really important. Now, I think we're going to leave this episode here right now. But I did want to show you how to delete items because people are very confused by this, I think. You're not supposed to sell the items to a vendor. What you need to do is dismantle them. And there are two things you can do. So we can do all uncommon and uh, can we do rare? Do we have any rare? I guess this one is rare. All right. Anyway, dismantle. Sure. What about can we click the rare? Okay. Thank you. We got stuff. Or anything? Why is it not letting us dismantle this? I don't know. Can we drag it over? Gear others? Hmm. I'm not sure why it's not letting us click these things. Maybe they're special things that we got? I don't know. But it's supposed to let you do each category here. Um, cannot, cannot be dismantled. That's why. Um, but anyway, you can also set up an auto dismantling, like very soon after this, we're not going to care about anything like 
normal or on actually we don't care about anything normal right now and then you can do item tiers as well uh, apply auto dismantle upon gaining drops um, item quality do not consider uh, basically we don't care about anything quite items we want to have at least uncommon or rare or higher so at this point we want to uh, delete normal soon it's going to be greens as well so we're just going to set that to say okay auto dismantle activated and that means we don't have to like manually do this stuff we can it'll just be dismantled as we gain the items uh, and that's it so um right if you have any questions please ask me um we you can also ask we have a lost ark channel in my discord and if you are playing and really, really, really want a guild, um, well, you can look in the game. Uh, but if you want friends, we have friends and uh, just message me. So anyway, um, thank you so very much for joining. Take care of yourselves and each other. And I'll see you next time.